Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got some great emulation news for you. We're talking about the Switch, 3DS, PlayStation 3, and Steam. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. Yuzu just released their progress report for April. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. There is a ton of information in here. We're going over things at a fairly high level and we've covered some of these things in previous videos. But between March and April, Yuzu saw a number of big improvements. Now, first up in the progress report, we're talking about emulation within emulation. Now, not everybody can use the Vulkan renderer. Some people are stuck with OpenGL. And fortunately here, if you're using OpenGL, things did get a lot better in Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Super Mario Galaxy, as well as Super Mario Sunshine. In fact, this is Super Mario Sunshine before the fixes, and here is after. There is a pretty big difference. In addition to that, Yuzu also got some graphical fixes and improvements, specifically for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. There is a whole lot less VRAM being used for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and well, for Age of Calamity here, if we take a look at the before with these random graphical issues, and then take a look at after, things are looking a heck of a lot better, and I think this was from Blinkhawk. If you're a fan of modding and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, more progress has been made here. Now, they do mention Skyline, and this is not to be confused with the Switch emulator on Android Skyline. This is a completely different Skyline altogether. This Skyline is an environment for linking, runtime hooking, and code patching in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so not at all regarding Android emulation. So with that being said, yes, they have made some progress and our Acropolis will eventually end up working. They're not there yet, but they can see the finish line. The overall UI or user interface got a bunch of tweaks and improvements, including hyperlinks here being a lot easier to read. The old version is on the left and the new version is on the right. This month, there has also been a ton of work done by behind the scenes to the kernel and CPU to improve emulation accuracy and make it a lot closer to the actual Switch. In fact, some of these improvements resulted in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate no longer causing memory access issues, making the game stable for long play sessions. In addition to that, the Yuzu team has fixed a bunch of bugs and also improved inputs, specifically with joysticks and also the mouse. And last up in the progress report, a lot of people are gonna be excited about this one. Minecraft and MK11 are now booting. They're not playable just yet, but they'll eventually get there. And speaking about eventually getting there, Project YFC is not far away from releasing its first part of 2 planned. I actually can't wait to see what's going to happen. Huge shout out to the Yuzu team for being amazing here and keep up with the amazing work. Next up, we're still talking about Nintendo Switch emulation, but we've switched over to Android here with Skyline. There is something you really need to know about this emulator. Now, even though Skyline is making improvements on almost a daily basis, for example, Pokemon Let's Go here is looking great they are not cutting any corners in order to do so. In fact, if we take a look at this Snapdragon 865, Skyline is only using 20% of the GPU in order to play this game. Now to really drive this point home, someone by the name of Tisk has Pokemon Let's Go up and running on a Snapdragon 662. A 662 is far under the minimum requirements of Skyline. And I said here, I had to be careful about reporting this because I didn't want to give anyone false hope but it was confirmed. And even more surprising, they were able to hit 30 frames a second with that Snapdragon 662. Not all the time, but some of the time, and even outside in the game. Absolutely nuts. If you weren't a believer in Skyline, hopefully with this information you are now, or at least you're on your way. Skyline has a ton of potential. I think it's safe to say, at least I hope it's safe to say, that Egg NS's days are numbered. Fingers crossed. Next up, we're talking about the PlayStation 3, and this one is a really weird one. Sony has just released firmware version 4.89. The console is pretty much dead at this point, but Sony is still updating it. If you're into console modding at all, I don't recommend updating to this latest version. Not at least until all of the kinks have been worked out from the modders and Everything is safe to do so. Everyone is currently working on 4.88, or at least most people are. 4.89 brings about a few interesting changes. First, you won't be able to create a PSN account on the console anymore. You'll have to do it from your phone or from a PC and then sign in that way. 
And secondly, two-factor authentication, I think, is enabled by default. And fun fact here, the PS Vita also got a firmware update version 3.74 with pretty much the exact same changes. Again, if you're into modding it, you might not want to update that firmware just yet. Now, another quick piece of news about the PS3, the Destination Home Team, which has kind of revived PlayStation Home by getting a retail version of the game working on official PS3 firmware, has started online alpha testing. I'll leave a link to their Discord in the description below if you want to learn more about the project. Last up here, we're talking about RetroArch on Steam and also the Steam Deck. There are a bunch of new cores, four in total, that have just released. FCEUMM, which is NES. Quick NES, which is also NES. SMS Plus GX, which is well known for the Sega Master System and also Game Gear. And lastly, VBAM, which is Game Boy Advance. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Yuzu, Skyline, PS3, or RetroArch on Steam. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.